In this final Getting Started video, I will briefly describe Venue Magic timeline events. Timeline events let you specify a certain action that occurs at a specific time in a timeline. These actions can include running other timelines, pausing or stopping other timelines in the queue list, sending MIDI messages, and a lot of other stuff. Since I like doing haunted houses, I'll show you an example that uses events to run timelines for lightning and thunder. We'll start with the crickets timeline from the last video, which I have named Haunted House Main. Now I want to add some thunder and lightning hits. If I wanted to, I could just add another audio track for thunder, and a control track for the lightning effect. But I don't want to do it that way. If you look into the timeline folder, you'll notice that I've already created three timelines that play different lightning flashes with thunder. Here's the first one. Here's the second. And the third. Now let's go back to the main timeline. Go to Insert and select Event Track. Over here in the project window, open the event folder. This shows all the events you can add to an event track. Find the run timeline event and drag it somewhere into the event track. Let's also expand the event track. This is what an event looks like. Notice you can drag it around, but you cannot resize it. Double click on the event and select the event tab. This list shows all of the timelines in your project. I'm going to select Lightning 1. These other settings are very similar to what we saw in the Q button setup window. Hit F1 for more information. Close the window and click Play. When playback reaches the event, the Lightning timeline plays. Now I'll go back up a little and run it again. Watch the queue list when the event is triggered. Notice that the lightning timeline run by the event shows up in the queue list just as it does when played from the queue button. If I want to add more lightning events to the timeline, there's actually a better way that is much easier than what we just did. Open the timeline folder in the project window. Now, Drag a timeline from the project window into the event track, where it automatically creates and sets up a timeline event for you. This is a special shortcut that is only available to run timeline events. So I'll drag a few more over and hit play. That is basically how Venue Magic timeline events work. More detail about different types of events will be discussed in future videos. For now, this should get you started. Feel free to look at Venue Magic Help, where you'll find pretty much everything you would ever want to know about all the Venue Magic events.